Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. This lesson shows you how to add text to slides in PowerPoint. PowerPoint lets you add text to slide placeholders, text boxes, or shapes. You often enter text into the text and title placeholders that are included as elements in the slide layout when creating presentation slides. However, you can also add additional text to text boxes or shapes that supplement or enhance the text placeholders in a slide. Placeholders, text boxes, and shapes that contain text in PowerPoint use two distinct modes. First, because they are objects like shapes, they have an object editing mode that lets you format, edit, and move them as objects. Second, because they contain text, they also have a text editing mode that lets you add, edit, delete, and format the text they contain. This way, you can apply changes to either the object itself or to selected text in the object. In PowerPoint, a text containing object's current mode is shown by its border. A border composed of dashes means the object is in its text editing mode. When it is in this mode, you may select and change text inside the object. You should also see the insertion mark cursor appear somewhere within the text in the object. Alternatively, a solid line border indicates the object is in object editing mode. The object itself, including all text within it, is selected and can be modified in this mode. You should note which mode is active and which content is selected before performing a task or applying formatting. To place the insertion mark cursor into the text of a text containing object in PowerPoint and place it into its text editing mode, hover your mouse pointer over the text within the object and then click into the text. You can then click and drag over specific text in the object to select the text and perform editing and formatting tasks to it. Alternatively, to select a text containing object in PowerPoint and place it into its object editing mode, click directly on its border. It may be easier to see its border if the object has no line color by clicking into the text first and then clicking its border after you can see it. Now you will learn how to add text to placeholders, text boxes, and other shapes in presentation slides. Normally, when you apply a slide layout, you can click into the text placeholders in the slide and enter text. The advantage to adding text to slide placeholders is the text then appears in the outline view of the presentation. If using outline view is important to you, Ensure you enter the text you want to appear in the outline into slide placeholders. You will learn more about using placeholders, slide layouts, and slide masters in a separate chapter. For now, you just need to understand this subtle difference between slide placeholders and other types of text containing shapes in your slide. If you don't care if the text added to a slide appears in the outline view, then you can insert it into a text box or shape in your slide. First though, you need to learn how to insert text boxes and shapes into your slide. To insert a text box in PowerPoint, click the text box button that appears in the text button group on the insert tab of the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the slide over which to place the text box. Then release the mouse button. The text box will then insert itself into the slide location in its text editing mode so you can immediately type the text you want the text box to contain. You must type some text immediately into the text box because if you do not and then you click away from the text box, PowerPoint will remove it from the slide. Separately, you can add text to a shape you have drawn in a PowerPoint slide by clicking the shape to select it and then typing your text. To insert a shape into your slide, click the Shapes button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. Then click the shape to add from the drop-down menu of choices. Then click and drag over the area in your slide over which to place the shape. It will insert itself after you release the mouse button. 
it will appear selected in the slide after you insert it, so you can then simply type the text to add to the selected shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.